Hello all, this video is on using a backpack for LCD which converts it to a serial one. Backpack built on PCF8574 port extender I IC converts the parallel interface to an I2C serial one. This backpack unit can be soldered onto the back of the LCD. This can be used with uh, 16x2, 16x4 as well as 20x4 LCDs. This is compatible with all these types of LCDs. On soldering uh, this backpack onto the LCD, it converts all the parallel interface lines to just uh, I2C lines. That is only two lines are used, SDA and SEL, data line and clock line, apart from the two power lines. The blue preset on the I2C board is to adjust the contrast of the display. SDA is data pin, SEL is clock pin which is used to connect with the microcontroller. PCF 8574T is the IC used here in this backpack. The jumper is to enable the LCD display and backlight of the display. For this demo we will we'll be using 16x2 LCD. Now let us see the simple connection between Arduino Uno and the uh, I2C board. VCC goes to 5 volt of Arduino, ground to ground. The A5 pin of Arduino is the SEL and the A4 pin is the SDA. Apart from the power pins, just two wires are needed for connection between the microcontroller and the I2C uh, board. Now connect the USB cable from PC to Arduino. The red LED glows on I2C board and the LCD lights up. The jumper is to enable the backlight of the LCD. The blue preset can be adjusted for a, a better corner LCD contrast. A library called New Liquid Crystal is required for this I2C board to operate. Download link is given in the description below. Download the latest file and then unzip the downloaded file. Copy the folder named New Liquid Crystal and then paste it inside the Arduino Libraries folder. Generally the path is C program files Arduino libraries. Make sure that your Arduino ID is uh, above 1.6.0 version. With older ID, this new library won't work. Now fire up the Arduino IDE and under file examples you can see the new liquid crystal entry. Each I2C device has an unique hex address for identification. Let us see how this address is arrived at before uploading any code onto Arduino. The I2C expander can be configured to have a unique 7-bit address. The first 4-bit, uh, the bit which follows 7-bit address decides whether it is read or write operation. That is not taken into account for address calculation. Generally it is 0 meaning write. For PCF8574 and A74T ICs, the first four bits are factory set to 0100. The bits A2, A1, A0 are user defined by soldering jumpers onto the pads. These three bits can be 
uh, changed by soldering jumpers onto this A0, A1 and A2. By default all these pads are open leading to all ones. If a jumper is soldered then it becomes zero. For address calculation we add a zero at the MSB position. Then the first four bits reads to uh, hex 2 and the last four bits uh, reads to hex 7. Finally the address of the module is hex 27. This is the default address if you do not do any jumper soldering. To find out the device hex address, there is an I2C scanner code. The link is given in the description below. Upload the code onto Arduino and then open up the serial monitor. Set the baud rate of the serial monitor as seen in the code to see the result. The hex code of the I2C devices connected will be displayed here. Here you can see 0x27 which is the default hex address of the I2C backpack we are using for this demo. Now let us see a practical example code of displaying characters onto LCD. This code includes two header files. One is wire.h and the next one is the liquid crystal i2c.h. A new object LCD is created using the liquid crystal i2c constructor which takes parameters 0x27 which is the hex address of the i2c device en, rw, rs and the four data bits. To understand the pins used as parameters check out this connection diagram. This is the connection details between PCF8574 and the LCD. The pin P2 goes to en of LCD, P1 to rw of LCD, P0 to rs of LCD and P4 to P7 data pins D4 to D7. These pins are uh, taken as uh, parameters in for the constructor. The P3 pin controls the backlight. When P3 pin is made high, the transistor conducts and then provides ground to the LCD backlight pin. Positive to LCD backlight is already present through the jumper. To know the parameters used, you can open C program files, Arduino and under libraries, open the new liquid crystal folder. Locate the liquid crystal I2C header file. Open that header file and scroll down. You can see the parameters defined for the constructor in this file. These parameters are used for the constructor and a new object LCD is created using these parameters. Inside the wide setup, we initialize the 16 by 2 LCD and then set the backlight on. LCD.home takes the cursor to 0, 0 position, 0 column and 0 row and then LCD.print displays the characters. LCD.set cursor 0, 1 moves the cursor to column 0 and row 1 and the next uh, LCD.print displays the second message. Now let us see some more functions under void loop. LCD.scroll display left makes the display to scroll left. Along with the delay function, you can see the uh, scroll effect. LCD.scroll display left. With a delay of 200, you can see the scroll left effect. Next function is LCD.no display, which makes the display blank and after a delay, 
LCD dot display makes it on. This creates a blink effect on the display. LCD.clear clears the display. And then LCD.set cursor 0, 01 moves the cursor to column 0 and row 1. And LCD.print displays the message. Now let us move the cursor to 5th column and 2nd row using set cursor 4 1. As the column starts from 0, 4 means 5th column and 1 is a 2nd row. The display moves to 5th column now. To move the display to 1st row, 5th column, set cursor to 4 comma 0. Now the display moves to the first column. More than one I2C device can be connected to the same I2C bus. The device address is to be set uh, using the three jumpers on I2C module. Here we make use of a 16 by 2 LCD with default address uh, 0x27. That is no jumpers and one 20 by 4 LCD with the A0 jumper which makes the address uh, 0x26 these two LCDs are connected to Arduino's uh, SCL and SDA pins uh, yes Arduino cannot source enough power to both LCDs when external power source is used VCC is connected to the positive rail and the ground to ground SDA of both LCDs connected to A4 of uh, Arduino and SCL of uh, both uh, LCDs connected to A5 of Arduino. This is the I2C bus. Now upload the two device sketch uh, given in the description below. You can see the result on both the LCDs 16 by 2 LCD as well as the 20 by 4 LCD. The 20 by 4 LCD is uh, jumper A0 is provided to change the texture.